Streamlight, streamlight, streamlight. Oh, how did you come up with these decisions? This is my initial overview, my initial impression of the Streamlight Wedge XT. I got this thing out the box and I immediately knew what I was not going to like. This is not a full review because it needs pocket time. It needs more time in my pocket. All right, so let's just, let me grab a couple of other flat flashlights. All right, look guys, I'm like a flat flashlight snob, right? I, I have a lot of them. And um, so these are some of my favorites. They all have things that I don't like about it. But, you know, until the Streamlight X XT came out, I could easily tell you when it came to flat flashlights, my favorite had to be the Angel Eyes E200U, the Nikkor EDC27, and then it was the Streamlight Wedge. Now, Olight's arc felt was close, but the proprietary charger completely threw me off. When I heard Streamlight was coming out with a smaller version of the Wedge, which is, you know, it was a little long in the pocket, ladies, you know the procedures. And, and so that was probably one complaint I had about it. I was pretty excited. Full disclosure, Streamlight sent me the Wedge XT out for no charge. I bought the Streamlight Wedge. They saw content that I made with the Wedge. We started a conversation. This is why I say if you're an EDC creator, use the equipment that you bought, put out content, you never know what might happen. So let's just talk about some, some things. First off, the Streamlight Wedge XT, significantly smaller than the original Wedge. If we pull out my handy dandy ruler here. So the original Wedge came in about a little bit more than five inches. We'll call it five and a quarter inches. And the Streamlight Wedge XT came in at four inches. So they definitely sliced off an inch and a quarter on the new flashlight. So, you know, if you wanted something a little bit sh shorter in the pocket, it makes a lot of sense. Let's just focus on this for a second. So it keeps that same fantastic deep carry pocket clip. One thing I like about this is that if you have tactical pants on, hefty pants on, work pants on, dickies or something like that, this will easily ride over the fabric of any of your pants. You don't have to worry about it being so slim. That's one complaint I have. That's one complaint I have similar to like some of these other flashlights. It's hard to even get them. If you're gonna have some bulkier clothes on, it's hard to get them onto your actual clothing items. That's a great thing. All right, so just like it's big brother, this thing is maintaining the IPX7 rating, which means this thing can go into about a meter of water, about three feet of water for 30 minutes and it should be fine, it should continue to work fine. They, it has a rear tail, tail switch. When you hit that rear tail, tail switch, it automatically engages 500 lumens. So the normal mode for this thing is 500 lumens. The low mode for this thing is 50 lumens. It includes a lanyard, which I'm probably gonna remove because I, I don't really necessarily need that. Now, if you wanna change this, because when you initially turn it on, it goes to 500 lumens. If you wanna change it to low lumen first, so you gotta do is tap this switch 10 times and on the 10th time you hold it and it will start off on low lumen mode instead of starting at 500 lumens, which I probably would do that because I would prefer the lower lumen. Also, if you want to keep this locked out of your pocket, you can click this thing five times. When you click it five times, you get that double blink action that lets you know that this thing is now locked out. You see the light turning different colors. You're not gonna accidentally engage this in your pocket. Do the same thing to unlock it. One, two, three, four, five and now it's back on and ready to use. So when you're charging this thing up, it illuminates red while charging. So you can stick this in here. You see the red indicator light that lets you know that it's in the middle of charging. When that thing turns green, it's fully charged. And also when the actual flashlight is running low on power, about when it has about a half an hour to an hour, hour left of power, it will light up uh, it will light up red instead of green here. That's gonna let you know that you need to find a charger sooner than later. So a couple of features to kind of let you know where it is. It's not like an exact battery indicator, kind of like some of its competitors where they have more precise battery indicators, nothing like that. Let's talk about some things that were removed from the wedge and I'll tell you if I think they're good or bad things. So first off, on the wedge itself, they both carry the same pocket clip but you are no longer able to reverse the pocket clip. Now, be, this being a rear tail switch, if you're left-handed, maybe it's gonna be fine, but you may prefer to have the actual pocket clip on the other side. The biggest glaring difference is this does now have a rear tail switch versus the side tail switch, the side switch here, which in my 
use case, taking this out of your pocket with this side switch had less movements from pocket to throw. So if you need it for self-defense, if you need to quickly illuminate an area, taking this out of your pocket was way faster and coming out this thing uh, than, than the new mode. Also, this thing is the, the Streamlight Wedge's normal use mode is 300 lumens. This one, the, the, it automatically starts off at 500 lumens. You have to back it down to 50 lumens. The Streamlight Wedge does not have a low lumen mode. It has a 1000 lumen turbo mode which will start to ramp down after you use it for about a minute. Um, if you push that, that side switch all the way forward, whereas this one here, the 500 lumens is the normal use case, and you can use that for about three hours. Same thing here, you can get about 300 lumens out of this thing for about three hours as well. You can take the battery out, you just have to take it apart, but you can't hot swap it out like, what, like an 18650 or something like that you might have laying around. I guess maybe if you have another Streamlight battery or whatever they use, you might be able to swap it out. And they also move the charging port. Obviously, if they have the tail switch in a different port part, it's no longer in the rear, similar to this one. Uh, it's now on this side or top or whatever you wanna call it. These are the things I don't think I'm gonna like about this already. I already had a complaint that although both of these are IPX7 rating, meaning it can go into water for about 30 minutes, that doesn't mean I want dirt and gunk getting all in this thing. I can't tell you how many times I had to blow out the Streamlight wedge with compressed air, use a, uh, you know, use a toothpick that's included in like one of my Victorinox tools because I don't use that anyway for my teeth, whatever. Because yeah, it's waterproof, but that doesn't mean it doesn't get full of dirt and grime. And I bought some of those little USB covers off of Amazon, but I lost them and I need to buy a bigger bag of them. They seem like they just went in. Now it looks like that the USB covers that you can purchase are gonna fit a little bit better because that USB-C port is recessed. This one was not recessed on the original one, but I bet that Streamlight's probably going to start selling the covers because it's so perfectly recessed, I can't figure out why it would be recessed. It just doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I'm not a huge fan of that. I am not also not a fan of the ergonomics are still kind of there, but you do have to go with this awkward tail movement. So getting this thing from the pocket out of the pocket, now you're going with an additional tail movement to engage this thing. Whereas when I had the wedge in here, literally I could take the wedge out and immediately I'm ready to throw the flashlight on less movement. So if you're using it for self-defense, that might be something that could be useful. Listen. I can tell you right now, this flashlight, at least for me, is gonna be best served for an everyday carry type flashlight, not for a go bag, not for a bug out bag, not for a get home bag. I'm gonna want something that has a better, th I wasn't a big fan of the throw on the wedge, and I know I'm probably not gonna be a, a fan of the, of the throw on the lower lumen wedge XT. So if you want something for the, so the Streamlight Wedge XT is $99. That is TGH, too goddamn high. There's so many competitors right in this ballpark. You can come with the Olight Arcfell for about 89 bucks. You can also come in and look at the Angel Eyes, which has way more features on it for 99 bucks. You can even look at flashlights that are not flat, but they're tubular in nature, so you can swap them out with quick change. Uh, flashlights if i'm gonna spend 99 dollars, i'm probably going to get the edc 27 with the beautiful oled screen and it has a more features and it goes down to a lower lumen mode than the actual streamlight wedge does now i would imagine that this pricing is going to change so right now on amazon on a discount the streamlight wedge is 75 dollars, but the msrp right now is 86 bucks on its big brother 86 dollars is what you can normally pick this thing up on Amazon. It comes in two colors, it comes in black and then comes in Coyote. Coyote's gonna be similar to this color here. I'm assuming they're gonna be basically the same, but I'm not 100% sure about that. The actual flashlight itself is made of aluminum. I think this one is made of aluminum as well. They just really do feel different. I don't know if this one just feels brushed or what. It just, this, I believe they're both aluminum. It just really feels like a different flashlight. It doesn't feel like cheap. It doesn't feel like a cheap flashlight. It just feels, this feels more premium, but it is a lot longer in the pocket. If I'm deciding between the two, I would say that for now, unless you just really need the smaller version of the Streamlight Wedge XT, 
If you really like rear tail switches, I personally would go with the Streamlight Wedge. Maybe use it in an EDC pouch instead of directly in the pocket. They both share the same pocket clip. And yeah, you don't get that low lumen mode, but 50 lumens is not you know anything to write home to mom about anyhow on the Streamlight Wedge XT. But the full review will come whenever I get this thing into rotation. I just wanted to give you an overview of this thing, my initial impressions and thoughts on it, and what would I do if it were my money, because this was not my money, it was sent to me. Appreciate your Streamlight. Just wanted to get you my first thoughts about that. Comment down below, are you gonna pick this up from the first overview from this thing? Is this a hard, pass put a p for pass a s for smash down in the comments if this is your first time stopping by thank you for stopping by make sure you hit that subscribe button join the battalion if this is not your first time stopping by thank you once again for watching me run my grape for everyone else we'll speak soon